Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a really cute Christmas tag. It is called the Beautiful Christmas Tag. I originally saw this video on my friend Kaylee Wesley's channel, but this was originally created by Debbie Knobloch, so I will have both of their channels and both of their videos listed down below. There are 10 questions in this tag, if I can count correctly, which, you know, I don't know because I suck at math, but they're all cute Christmassy themed questions so let's go ahead and jump right in question number one is if you were to pick one christmas gift beauty related to relieve to relieve to receive for christmas what would it be so i might be cheating a bit here because my boyfriend already said he was going to get me this it's not actually like a makeup item what it is is a mirror so i have this like two-sided light up mirror that i literally use every day for my makeup and it's like falling apart like the mirror is like disconnecting from the light and it's just but it still works so it looks a bit janky it's dirty it's old but i literally use it every day and i can't live without it because this room you can tell it's a bit dark in here this is the middle of the day so it's dark and i do my makeup sitting right here so i need to have the light i need the ring light i need that light i need all the light that i can get so my boyfriend is actually getting me one of those simple human like very nice like uh light up mirrors that you can charge and then it lights up just when like you're this close to it so that he's he's honestly the sweetest ever uh so that's probably one of the like best things i could ask for because i honestly i have so much makeup i don't really need more makeup but my mirror is broken and it's literally hanging on a string <laughs> so I, I did need a mirror question number two is if you created a christmas eye look would you use red or green can you tell personally I like doing a green eye just because I love green, but also I love a red lip. To me, a red lip just screams Christmas. It's just mwah, chef's kiss, right? And I just, I love green. So I'm wearing um, the shade, I think it's uh, Destiny from the Subculture palette. Let me double check. Yeah, I got it right. I'm wearing the shade Destiny just all over my lid with a glitter shadow all over there. And my red lipstick, I think there's a question later. We're gonna talk about it later. But I just, I love a green eye. To me, a red eye is more like Valentine's Day, like summer, I don't know. Uh, when I think of Christmas, I think of a green eye look and a red lip. The next question is, what new Christmas rollout beauty item excites you the most and why? You know, to be quite honest, uh, I haven't been like really, really excited for anything holiday, except for like that Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona because that was technically a holiday release and I jumped on it. Well, not jumped on it. I thought about it for a bit and then I jumped on it. So I think it's really the only one. There hasn't really been anything else that I'm just like chomping at the bit to get at. But I feel like it's because I've been a huge fan of makeup for a few years and because like I've gotten to the point now where it's like I've got a big collection. I don't really need anything. I'm being a bit more conscious about my makeup choices. Um, so yeah, I think I've pretty much gotten everything that I like desperately wanted by now. The next question is, thinking about Christmas past, is there a favorite beauty item that you received? What was that item and do you still have it? <sighs> to be honest, no one really buys me makeup for my birthday or Christmas. If you don't know, my birthday is December 22nd, so I am a Christmas baby. They really just give me gift cards <laughs> and then I just go and do like my own Sephora or Ulta shopping. Um, yeah, I think my first makeup mirror was a birthday gift, so probably that one. Because a tool can last you a lot longer than, like, even an eyeshadow palette or a blush or something. Like, uh, But yeah, I think that original mirror was a gift. It's probably also why I held on to it for so long, even though it's kind of, like, falling apart. <laughs> but I think, yeah, that one. And all the gift cards that everyone gets me. I'm pretty easy to shop for. Just get me a Sephora gift card. Everyone knows it. Like, I get, like, three or four Sephora gift cards every year because it's my birthday, and then it's Christmas, and then it's New Year's. So <laughs> just get her a Sephora gift card. <laughs> Next question is, if you had to pick one brand to receive for Christmas, what would it be? Hmm... Like, am I not paying for this? Because if I could, I would just pick Natasha Denona and get like a huge PR package of all of her stuff. <sighs> but yeah, probably Natasha Denona. Even though like, honestly, most of the palettes aren't worth the money. So this is like, specifically, if I was getting it for free and I don't have to pay for it, then Natasha Denona. The one thing that is worth the money is like that loose powder that she has. Oh my God, that loose setting powder is amazing, but it's also like 60 something dollars and ridiculous, but like it touched my heart. <laughs> like it was such a good loose setting powder. Ooh. 
Hi, Rachel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, work is done. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot what question I was on. Oh, it was, do you change your skincare routine for the winter? Any tips or tricks? Yes. Oh, my battery is about to die. All right, pause. All right, work call is over. Battery is changed. We're, we're good to go. This is what happens when you try to film on your lunch break when you work from home. <laughs> All right, so skincare routine for the winter. Yes, I do change it up. Mainly, I just, I add a lot more moisture. I do a lot more moisturizing masks. I try to get a heavier moisturizer, especially just because my dry spots get really dry in the winter. Not even just on my face. On my arms up here tends to get really dry, so I need to make sure I'm being a bit more diligent about putting lotion on after every shower. And also my hair. I've noticed I need to do a bit more different things in my hair care routine so that's why i haven't come out with an, uh, an updated hair care routine video yet because i am still in the process of picking out the new products to use now that it is just a lot drier for christmas gatherings are you no makeup everyday makeup or full glam hmm. huh. so for like christmas eve uh we don't really do too much but like we kind of just all hang out we have some food so that's no makeup for christmas day I'll probably go full glam just because I'll be at my own house. I'll have the time to do my makeup in the morning. We all drive over to my uncle's house to do dinner and Christmas. So that's going to be full glam. For New Year's, we do New Year's with my boyfriend's family. And that is probably everyday makeup. I don't want to go too crazy <laughs> for that. So that's everyday. So I do a little bit of everything for the holidays. What is your favorite palette from your collection that gets you in a Christmas mood and why? I honestly, okay, so Kaylee had an awesome answer to that. And that was the Pat McGrath bronze temptation palette because honestly this does just look like christmas in a palette does it not you've got all your great shades you've got a red you've got a green you've got a champagne you've got some neutrals to round it out it's a great holiday palette but do i reach for it no that's why it's in one of my project pans so that i actually like have to reach for it i have to admit when i first read this question the first palette that came to my mind was actually from juvia's place and this is the deuce palette and maybe I'm alone here, but this kind of just looks like holiday to me. Maybe it's Easter, maybe it's Christmas. I think it's mainly the shimmers in here that are just calling out holiday to me. This beautiful green, this dark smoky shade you could use for like a nice New Year's Eve, like smoky eye, just ah. Oh. And this duochrome light shade up here is gorgeous. And there's a trash, trash truck outside. So we'll give, we'll give him a minute. So as I was saying, I really think the shimmers in here scream holiday to me. Like this green, the smoky, the nice little duochrome like light shade. Ah, it's just so, it's not gonna show up on camera. Oh, it is gonna show up on camera a little bit. They're just so pretty. And to me, this screams like holiday, like a little present. I'm pretty sure uh, Nikki Tutorials did a video where it was like, like making myself look like a present with this palette. And so that's probably why I think of it as a holiday thing, but it's a really pretty palette. And really affordable too from Juvia's Place. The next question is, what is your favorite red, Christmas red lipstick for the holiday? So I don't want to spoil it because I do have a video coming out of my best and worst of red lipsticks. But the one I'm wearing today is one of my favorites. And it's just that Fenty Lip Stunna in Uncensored. It's just such a good red lip. I like it. It's It's got a nice uh, tiny bit of like a blue undertone. So it's like a cool red. It's just really, really pigmented. It lasts. It looks gorgeous. I love it. Just it feels comfortable. Just chef's kiss <laughs> so good if you are planning on shopping for beauty items for christmas where is your go-to place to shop sephora indie brand ulta etc uh for the christmas like time i try not to go into stores because i don't like people <laughs> like already <laughs> so for the most part i will shop online sephora and ulta honestly i try to do more at ulta but there's a lot of stuff that sephora has that ulta doesn't or sephora gets first so it really depends on what i'm in the mood for I'm actually, so I still haven't hit Rouge yet for Sephora, so odds are when I get my gift cards and I do my shopping, I'll hit Rouge, so I think I'm just like $100 away from Rouge for 2020, but that kind of surprised me. Like, I haven't been shopping at Sephora as much. I've been trying to do more at Ulta just because Ulta does have the better rewards program. And the last question is just please tag five other people to keep the tag going, and please make sure to tag me, the tag creator, which is Debbie, so I can make sure to watch your videos. 
how adorable. I don't want to say it here because I feel put on the spot and I don't want to miss anyone, but I will tag five people in the first comment and in the description box down below. Why did I say down? It's down. It's been a long week. It's been one of those weeks that feels like a year. I don't know how or why. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this adorable Christmas tag. Thank you so much, Debbie, for creating the tag. And thank you, Kaylee, for doing the tag and posting your cute video. I loved your answers. I loved both of you guys' answers. And even if I don't tag you down below, please feel free to do this tag and let me know so I can watch your answers as well. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I don't think so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.